Today we're back in Bath and we're on another ghost trail and we're going to be walking from River Street to George Street. It's just a short walk um, but it's an area that's associated with one of Bath's most famous ghosts, the man in black or the man in the black hat. Let's see if we can find him. I first heard about him in connection with this street, River Street, where he's sometimes been seen peering into windows provoking the thought that maybe he's the ghost of a landlord, still checking up on his tenants. He was first reported in the 1800s, and is described as wearing a black hat with a rim, a long three-quarters length coat with longish hair and astute posture. When seen, he often vanishes instantly. This is Russell Street, another street where the man in black has reputedly been seen, but it's also the site of a spooky discovery made in 1852. Workmen were enlarging the sewer here when they dug up four stone coffins containing a skeleton, two skulls and various bones. It's thought these coffins might date back to Roman times and could possibly be the cause of supernatural activity in some of the houses and flats around here. This is Bennett Street and number 19 was the residence of Admiral Arthur Philip. Now some people believe that he is the ghostly man in black. He was a Royal Naval officer who was involved in transporting some of the first convicts to Australia and he was the founding governor of New South Wales. But he returned to Bath and in 1808 he suffered a stroke which left him partially paralysed and he died here in 1814. Apparently his ghost haunts the house and various residents have encountered him over the years. And here in Savile Row is the Common Room, a popular late night drinking spot. It's been known by various names over the years. It's been here since the 1960s. I don't know whether there's any ghosts here, but I've haunted it myself on a few occasions. So here we are at the Assembly Rooms, built in 1769 by John Wood the Younger in the centre a fashionable Georgian bath. And this is where we meet some other ghosts. There's a lady in Georgian dress who floats between the tea room and the ballroom. A lady in white seen on a staircase. There's a story of someone trying to vacuum one of the galleries when an unseen hand kept pulling the plug from the socket. But perhaps the scariest story concerns a security guard who was here one night on his own. He was sitting in an office when he got the feeling he was being watched. So there was a window in the office that looked out onto a corridor and when he looked at it he saw a disembodied head looking back at him.
bye for now.